Welcome to Create Your Own Reality, a show about hope, inspiration, and encouragement. A program that will feature guests and topics that may inspire you to think and stretch your beliefs about what is real and how you can create miracles in your life. I'm your co-host, Polly Nortness. Joining me is my other co-host right here is Fagish Lang. She is a life coach and an intuitive. And we'd like to welcome our guest for today, Don Clarkson, who's also a life coach and a psychic counselor. Thank you. Now, Badish had a great question before, so I'm going to let her start the show. Go ahead, Badish. Well, Don, you're a, a coach, a life coach, and I'd like to know in your practice uh, what you've noticed over the last year. Well, the people who come are coming for a different reason. Yes. Uh, basically, they're coming out of fear, yes. and that's, that's new to me. Most people came before wanting to change career, kind of upgrade, things like that. And now people are coming because of the economy based on fear, fear of losing a job, uh, fear of, of creating a new job. And so there's a lot of anxiety in, in the, the coaching room today. Okay. And what kind of tools uh, are you helping them learn and to approach this, these problems? Well, I work a lot with the subconscious. I've been studying the, the tarot, the Kabbalah, for over 30 years. Uh, I've studied Huna for 30 years, uh, which is Hawaiian mysticism. Mm -hmm. And I'm a great believer in the power of the subconscious. So I try to teach them different tools to access the subconscious, to find out what they're really thinking and feeling. Tell us a little bit about what is our subconscious, because I'm, I'm sure a lot of people watching the show know what it is, but there may be a few that say, what is a subconscious? Yeah. Well, it's everything that isn't conscious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of people uh, envision it as a, a pyramid, that at the very top is your conscious mind, that, that you're, you're listening to me, you're maybe yeah. thinking about dinner at the same time and a, a couple things, but everything else below that is, is in the subconscious, and it goes down further and further. There are things that you can remember rather quickly. You could call up your phone number from your subconscious, mm -hmm. but you might not know what you had for dinner a year ago this date. Uh, that's too far down to remember. But those pictures are all down there. That information is all buried in that subconscious. And in the HUNA system, at least, we always think of the subconscious as a child, a childlike part of us. And the problem with that is that children often come up with wrong conclusions. Uh, if you've ever been around kids, um, we, we have all this data coming into our conscious and then subconscious mind, but that child down there can, can come up with a, a very different uh, belief yes. system and you don't know it. So it could be a problem. Your subconscious could be yes, a problem. Yes, and, and the point mm -hmm. is you don't know what, what they're thinking. And so you're going out there with these patterns, replicating patterns that mm -hmm. you're not aware of. So if I get this right, Don, what you're saying is that the child gives meaning <coughs> that creates a reality, and we're adults, and we're still operating on a child's reality. Right. Is that, is that right. pretty much what I'm... Uh, for example, I, I live out many of my father's fears, uh, living through the Depression, um, and here I'm in, in, in another whole century, and yet I'm still dealing with some of his fears about spending money. In it. And now when we have a, a global recession, all those kinds of anxieties come to me that, oh my God, you mm -hmm. know, my father's fears are coming true. But you realize they're your <coughs> father's fears. Aren't there people going around with fears that they don't realize that right. it's a subconscious And that's what fear? I try to do in coaching, is to bring those up mm -hmm. so that you can deal with them. Let's talk about that pattern so that once you have it up in consciousness, now you can deal with it, or you can change. Uh, this is why I studied the tarot for all these years. The tarot says that it's pictures that create our reality, and mm -hmm. so does Huna. And uh, tarot is very, very complicated. I've spent years studying it. I only know the surface of it. And Huna is very, very simple. These are <coughs> naked natives running around the beaches of the South Pacific. What do they care about <laughs> tarot and, and uh, Kabbalah? And yet they both, in their essence, say the same thing, that yeah. it's pictures that create our reality. And those pictures are in our subconscious. And so by definition, you don't know what those pictures are. And so mm -hmm. you're, you're acting out and generating a new reality based on things you don't even know about. Is That's scary. Is Huna kind of a mysticism, or is it another tool? Um, what is actually, I've well, heard of it, but I'm not sure what it is. You've probably heard the big kahuna. The big kahuna, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I've I'm never met, I'm not, I'm I've not never the, met the big kahuna. <laughs> no, you probably haven't. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, the kahuna is, is a, a medicine man or woman in, oh, in, yeah. uh, in Huna. Mm -hmm. Uh, ka means practitioner of Huna, so Kahuna is a practitioner of. But no, I'm not a Kahuna, and you've probably never met one. They, they don't 
no. advertise in the yellow pages. <laughs> <laughs> you have to know somebody in Are they in still Hawaii. around? Oh, yeah. Is it like uh, a medicine man or a shaman? Yes, yeah, a shaman, okay. more like a shaman. Mm -hmm. But if, if you see one on the street advertising in Hawaii, well, you know they're not a, a real kahuna. Yeah. But I've studied huna all these years because it's so simple, it's so childlike. Uh, and it too says that uh, around any desire we have, there's a, a cluster of pictures and we need to get those pictures up into consciousness. Okay, yeah. now I think I remember you telling me about this, and we're prob we probably have a visual of it. Is this called the, the grape cluster? The grape cluster. This is one of the tools you use? Yeah. Okay. It's one of the two or three things I use with uh, my coaching clients. In fact, I've had two people today just say, D don't bother, I've already done the grape cluster. Uh, on <laughs> what does the grape cluster look like? Is it, uh, does it look like an actual cluster of, of, yeah, and of uh, you don't wine need grapes? My, you, you can get the form on my website or you can just draw a circle. Uh -huh. The point is that these are all clusters of pictures that are, are interrelated and interlocking. Mm -hmm. And so if you get one of them, you get them all, mm -hmm. ultimately. Don, isn't this called mind mapping? Is this something yes, like that? Yes, it's very similar to that. Yeah, and I have a lot of people who do collages, same kind of thing of picture picture boards. Yeah. Same kind of thing that you have to get the picture up into but yeah, there we, we have, have a picture it. of a grape cluster. So how does that work? It just looks like a bunch of circles, different shapes. Um, and from that, you can just start writing. Okay, so you, this you is before you start it, and then, right. then you start writing. And what, right. what do you start? How do you start? Well, they need to be photographable pictures, and this is the problem that you know. This is the simplest tool I've ever come up with, and almost everybody screws it up. It's your, cre <laughs> it's your creation. Yeah, it is, um, because I, I I understood that concept of the grape uh, grape cluster. And I thought, surely there's a way for us to use this. So I, I developed this little form, and people fill in the blanks. Uh, you don't need the form. You can just have circles. But the problem is that most people don't put pictures. We have a form right there. There's a lot of stuff. And this, when I read this, it looked like somebody was trying to have a relationship with somebody. Is that what yes, that was about? Yes, this is from an actual client of mm -hmm. mine. What was the story on this one? Well, she did. Uh, she wanted to have a new relationship. Uh, and that's the, oh. the, the great cluster is the best tool I've ever come up with for creating a new relationship. Oh. And so she did a cluster and nothing happened for a whole year. Well, I saw that cluster. She wanted an awful lot well, there. Well, that wasn't <laughs> her original cluster. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the original one. That I make a cluster for my husband and they're going to have all those <laughs> points on them. <laughs> well, she heard me talking <coughs> in a, a, a group setting and she said, oh my God, I did it wrong. And she did what most people do. She put down values. Things like, I want a, a relationship with a man who's loving. I said, well, that's not a picture. I can't see oh, that. What would right. loving look mm -hmm. like? Mm -hmm. And right. so you'll see on, uh, on her form that she changed it to, he puts his arm around me in church. Oh. So, oh, now that's vivid. Because again, we're trying to talk to that little kid inside. And that kid inside understands arm around me in church, doesn't understand loving. And then she had things like oh, financial security. I said, well, I can't see that. Yeah. Oh, then we would have a second home at the beach. Ah, now that's vivid. The, the kid in me can understand walking in the sand and having a, a, a beach house and watching the waves. So those pictures, she created those pictures then. And 14 days later, she met Eric, who, as she said, met all of the, the qualifications but one. And that was uh, something about a dog, but uh, about a dog. A dog. <laughs> she didn't write must, no. must love dogs. No, no. Did I forgot to put in the dog? Dog. So well, in putting all of the the pictures into action through thought, energetic thought, right, and the visualization of that, it downloads into the deep subconscious. Well, Does it then go <laughs> out into the field? What yeah. you said. Well, that's the irony that these pictures come from the subconscious. That I, I, somebody puts their arm around me in church or uh, second home, it, it it bubbles up from the subconscious, and but then you capture it in the consciousness in this piece of paper, and once you do that, it then reflects back to the subconscious as a template, and you're saying to the subconscious, you go out and find me the person who fits these these different pictures. So you